All right, so for this uh, next segment, I'm going to show you how to get the photos uh, that you just uploaded synchronized from your phone to uh, Google uh, to their web servers. So we're, the next step in getting the photos is to go to photos.google.com. And if you've not been here before, you'll need to enter your username and password. Uh, if you just uploaded the photos, it might take a moment for it to synchronize. If you don't see your photos here uh, right away, wait a few moments. And then what you'll want to do is find your um, uh, refresh button. Every browser puts it in a different place. In Safari, it's in the um, address bar. I think on Chrome, it's over here somewhere. So once you see all your photos... Uh, what we need to do then is this they're they're showing them on the Google web servers and we need to get them from there to our computers in the classroom. Here's how you do that. It's pretty easy. It's basically we're reversing the process. We're selecting the photos and then we're going to download them. Here's how you do that. Um, you uh, can put your mouse over individual photos and you'll see a little um, uh, white checkbox in the check circle in the top left corner. If you click on that, it'll select that photo. Now it's a blue check. Uh, if you want to select all the photos for a day, if you put your mouse over the date for the photo, you can then uh, click on that date and it will select all the photos. Again, they're designated selected when they have a blue check circle in the top left corner. And then I'm going to also grab these photos down here. I uh, actually don't want that one. We don't need that. Um, so you can click to turn on and turn off the selections. The photos that have the blue check circle will be downloaded when we go to the next step. Uh, it says I have 16 photos selected up here in the top left. Um, so that's what I want. And then the next step is to go to the blue three dots that are stacked in the top right and click on that. And then the option we want is at the top, it's download. So click on that. Um, so let's, oh, I have a video in here, so it's not quite done with that one yet. So I'm just going to go ahead and download the 15 items. And then uh, you'll see, a, if you're using Safari, you'll see a progress bar right here in the down, download uh, area. If uh, you have, uh, if you're using Chrome, it'll be down here in the lower part of the dock. Once that's done, what you'll do is you'll click on the downloads, and again here in Safari, and you'll you'll see a blue photos album. You'll click, hold, drag that to your desktop. Down here in Chrome, it would be down in the lower left corner. Uh, you'll click on the file name. It should pop up your downloads folder. Uh, which should show you now a blue folder called Photos. Again, click, hold, drag that to your desktop. So now the photos are on your computer from uh, the web browser, and they're ready to be imported to Lightroom. So that's how we complete the process of getting the photos from your phone to uh, using Google Photos to the Google web server, and then we go to photos.google.com, to download those photos from the computer, I mean from, excuse me, from the internet to our computers. Hope that helps. If not, if you have any questions, please send me an email through Canvas.